Hi guys, welcome to Veering's RV Center. We've been family owned and operated since 1954. My name is Parker and today I'm gonna to bring you a walkthrough video of the 180TH Sportsman Classic from KZ RV. It's a gorgeous day here as we've got some snow flying behind us, but we're gonna do a video for you anyways. Um, we're gonna go through the exterior and the interior, try to show you some things that you might not be able to see from pictures. If you have a trade currently that you're interested in taking a look at what its value is, please give us a call, more than happy to do that. If you have financing questions, questions about the trailer itself, the manufacturer, our dealership, give us a call. But with that said, let's take a look at the inside. So it's 180TH Sportsman Classic from KZ RV as a toy hauler, but it also has plenty of sleeping space and all your normal amenities that you would need as well. It weighs in at just under 3,300 pounds, very easily towable by your smaller SUVs, midsize SUVs, and then your half-ton towable trucks as well. We're gonna take a look at the front first and the kitchen area, bedroom and bathroom, and then we'll get back to the uh, garage area here in just a second. So here in the front of the trailer, we're gonna go over your kitchen, bedroom, and your master bathroom as well. Starting in the kitchen here, we're gonna start out with actually our controls. We're gonna have your uh, power awning, which is already equipped with, your in and out control for that. A couple light switches here for your master lights inside the camper, and then your awning light as well, which you'll see when we go to the exterior. Two USB ports here, spot for your television if you'd like to put one. And then we're gonna have our radio set up here. This is a really nice Furion system. Furion is one of the leading manufacturers for, te for technology in the RV industry. It is gonna be AM, FM, Bluetooth compatible as well, so if you wanna hook up your phone, tablet, laptop, you can do that, um, listen to some music. You have interior speakers and exterior speakers too, so if you wanna uh, listen to music outside, you can do that too. Uh, you do have a switch here, so if you want the music just going to uh, either or, or both, you can do that. Here we're gonna have our microwave. Plenty of room for all those bags of popcorn, heating up leftovers and whatnot. And one thing you're gonna notice, even for this size camper, is a lot of storage. Now what KZ does with their storage is really nice, is they actually, um, it's the depth in their cabinets that really does it for them. So you might not see as many cabinet doors, but the depth of the cabinets is gonna be better than another trailer with a, a lot of cabinet doors, essentially. Um, so you have storage above here. Below, we're gonna have nice size window here in the kitchen. Even in this size trailer, you're gonna see a lot of natural light and a lot of windows too. That window will open to give you some uh, a nice breeze. A lot of countertop space. You're gonna have your deep single bowl sink, your two burner cooktop here, and some storage down below. With Again, the depth in the cabinets really being the, the key factor here with KZ trailers, especially in the Sportsman Classic lines. You're gonna have your main furnace output down there. In the front here, we're gonna have our two bunks in your main sleeping area. Um, the top bunk's actually gonna push up if you'd like to have a little more space that will be on a gas strut. Your bottom bunk here is gonna be just a little bit wider, but you're gonna have an, a window down here. It's an emergency exit window, so you can open it up still though to get some nice uh, ventilation, nice little breeze. You will have single LED lights for each bunk too. Every single light inside on this camper is gonna be LED. There's not gonna be one light that will not be LED. We have our master bathroom, which is for this size camper, a really nice size. Foot flush toilet, really nice size shower. An LED light in here too, and then you're gonna have a vent there as well. All right, let's take a look at the garage area. So here in the living and garage area of the 180TH Sportsman Classic, you're gonna notice a lot of open space. A lot of space to move around. Um, for those of you who are gonna be using it as a toy hauler and bringing a toy with you, this is a nine foot garage area. On the off door side here, we're gonna have our main seating area with your sofa. This will fold up uh, against the wall flat, so if you need a little more room width wise for, for the toy you're bringing, uh, it will be a sleeping spot as well, which will come down to be a jackknife sofa. You have a foldable table here which is easy to put away if you're not using it, but very easy to move around to. Above that, we're gonna have a nice size window that will open to give you a nice breeze um, and some cross ventilation, which we'll see here in a minute. Above, again, a lot of storage in this size camper. You're gonna have these cubby holes with your little net in here to hold your items in there. Moving towards the side, you have your side mounted AC, which is gonna be plenty enough for this space, um, but very easy to access as well. Down below there, we're gonna have our main furnace control here. Your AC is gonna be controlled separately on the AC, and then your furnace is gonna be controlled right here. We're gonna have a tank monitoring system, which is gonna be your water pump and your water heater switches here too, but you do have your tank monitoring system, and then our fridge, which is gonna be really nice size, and with the freezer tray here too. Moving on to the side here, we're gonna have another window here, another nice size window uh, for some nice cross breeze ventilation from the other window that you saw there. Um, with this being a toy hauler, you do have four D-rings, two located in the front, two located in the back here. One thing I wanna talk about, even in this kind of a camper, KZ does not cut corners on quality. The flooring I wanna talk about is that, that KZ uses a 5 8 tongue groove plywood decking for underneath their uh, main flooring. This is a Congolium kind of flooring, so it's gonna be a little nicer for you. 
a little sturdier and last you longer, but that 5 8 sun groove plywood, if you are using this as a toy hauler, it's gonna last you longer than, let's say, a laminated uh, floor that's not gonna be able to handle the weight of your toy over time. This is gonna last you a lot longer. KZ builds their campers extremely well, no matter what product line it is. Uh, these Sportsman Classics are gonna be a really nice built trailer for you. So on the exterior of the Sportsman Classic here, I want to start up front. Uh, new for the Sportsman Classics this year from KZ is going to be their diamond plate. They've always had the diamond plate. They kind of extended it up here, though, giving you a little, little more protection up front. Um, their aluminum is a little bit different, too. Typically, most manufacturers out there are going to use a .024 thick aluminum. KZ is going to use a .030 on their Classics. Now, why I want to point that out is because a lot of times, if a manufacturer is going to use a thicker aluminum, it's going to be just on the front. Well, KZ takes that thicker aluminum and uses it on every side of the classic so it's going to be more durable last a little bit longer and uh, resist more of the uh, of nature um and things uh dinging off it and whatnot moving on to the side here all your kz sportsman classics are going to be solar prepped so if you want to if you're doing some boondocking or some dry camping um you do have that option there as well uh, if you want to put a solar panel on there help trickle charge your battery so you have some power uh during the night and whatnot then we're gonna have our pass-through storage that is gonna be a full uninterrupted pass-through storage plenty of space to put everything you need to go camping down there with you. Now you do have a power awning with an LED light strip here. I was I didn't put it out today because it's a little bit windy, um, so just don't want to take a chance, but that is going to be a power awning for you. You're going to have outside speakers, so like I said, if you want to connect to your phone to the radio, you can do that, or you can just play um, some music through the radio itself as well. Our front entry here is going to feature dual steps, which is a little bit unique for this type of class because typically you're going to have just a single step. So having the dual is very nice, very easy to get in and out. And you're going to have a larger assist grab handle here too, as opposed to the mini uh, little small one. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is KZ's stabilizer jacks that they use on the Sportsman Classics. These are going to be the scissor style jack as opposed to the previous stab uh, style jacks. So it's going to be a lot sturdier for you when they're down. You can take just a, um, a socket and put on a cordless drill and zip them on down if you don't want to mainly crank them too. On the back here is going to be our entry door, which is very easy to close up and open up to. Basically, you're going to unlatch it. It's going to fold right on down for you. You do have the screen here, so when you're inside, if you're enjoying uh, the day, you want to keep the bugs out and whatnot, you can do that. Very, just a retractable screen. One thing I didn't mention when we were on the inside was the interior height. That is going to be a 78 inch interior. They uh, raised their ceiling heights uh, the previous, uh, this past year to give you a little more headroom, but that's also going to help when you're bringing a toy with you too. Your backup camera prepped on the Classics as well, so if you'd like to put a backup camera on there, that's a really cool system. It's from Furion, which I mentioned earlier with the radio. It's a little bit different than your normal backup camera style, so for more information on that, please give me a call. We do have those available in our camp store. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my walkthrough video of the 180TH Sportsman Classic from KZ RV. Please visit us here at Veerings RV Center. If you found this video helpful, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe and like the video. Go to our Facebook page as well, like the page and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. If there's something I missed and you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call or stop in and ask for me. Again, my name is Parker. If you currently have a camper and you want to see what it's worth as far as the trade value, would love to do that for you too. Uh, give us the opportunity to see what we can do on it. I need to use campers right now, so we'd love to see what we can do. Thanks, guys.